Hello, this is Haku to Bean, and today we are going to be reading Backrooms Level 712, The World of Parrots. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Level 712, The World of Parrots. Parrots. Survival Difficulty, Class 2. Unsafe, Secure. Existence of Jerry-like Entities. Description, Level 72 is a world perpetually shrouded in mist. The land consists entirely... Anyway, the land consists entirely of a flat cone shaped hill that is 50 to 100 meters in height with a gentle slope. The main vegetation of the world is common grass and lone dried out trees that lack any fallen leaves around them. This level is finite, but the exact size is difficult to measure due to its spatial properties. Wanderers who enter this level randomly appear on one side of the hill. If they try to move away from the hilltop, they will eventually appear on the other side. Some wanderers reach a hill to when and wanderers reach a hill top, they may find an exit door. Sometimes the door will appear in a sea of sunflowers, or wanderers may find Richard. Whether wanderers can enter the sea of sunflowers seems to be it seems to vary from person to person. Some wanderers can easily enter, while others cannot. And the reason for the difference is unknown. When the wanderer leaves the sea of sunflowers, it will disappear until they enter the level again. There are many avian entities in this level, including some found in other levels, but the most common entities are the unique parrot-like entities who, appear, who usually appear are alone. Wanderers may find one of these parrots in a tree as they make their way towards the hilltop. <sighs> it is strongly recommended that wanderers not make physical contact with any Earth-like entity, since they have improved to have the same indoctrination abilities as Jerry. And getting too close to them will make Wanderers a follower of them. After becoming a follower, Wanderers will act like a member of the followers of Jerry, whose actions include frantic worship, spreading the word of their beliefs, trying to attract new members, and fighting with other parrot follower members, including the followers of Jerry. William. William is one of the most common entities in this level. He resembles a blue and yellow macaw parrot. When Morris approach, William will stare at them sideways. When Morris get close up, William will raise his chest, open his, his wings, seemingly accept their worship, and wanderers try to touch him, they will be reduced to followers of him instantly. Unlike Jerry and the other entities in this level, where William will stay on the shoulders of the chosen wanderer after the indoctrination, the wanderer will protect him recklessly and prevent it, other wanderers from getting near which causes them to have only one follower at a time. The follower will, die, will likely die soon after being indoctrinated in a blind attempt to protect William from something too strong for the water to handle. The follower is not able to assess the risks due to a reduction of cognitive ability that comes with the indoctrination process. William can retain the using sunflower seeds or almond water, and after that, he will make sounds to one new follower or when they're in danger. After one or two days, he will return to level 7, and 12, it is reported that William will leave the level with the follower, but if the wanderer enters an indoor level, William will return to level 712. <sighs> Bat, whose appearance resembles a silver crested and cockatoo parrot, is considered to be the most dangerous entity in this level. As for the existing reports, Bat is usually found flying around or sitting on a tree. Some speculate that Bat follows wanderers until they come across a tree, at which point she will land on the tree and attract the wanderers' attention. But this is unconfirmed due to the mist potentially hindering in wanderers' vision. After being indoctrinated by Bat, wanderers will become her food bank. And when Beth feels hungry or follower 
Earth will be willing to become her food and be pecked to death, leaving only a skeleton. If Beth feels hungry when there are no followers, she will forcibly indoctrinate and attack any wanderers nearby. Green. Green is a pair like Andy with a light green head and bright red beak. Green is a rarest parrot like Andy in this level, which may be because he likes, she likes to follow her followers to explore other levels and only occasionally returns to level 712 for rest. Green does not show any danger to date, and she does not indoctrinate wanderers by force. Wanderers will only be indoctrinated when they hold green in their arms. According to her followers, following green gives them the ability to freely no clip between most levels, and green will help followers is in danger no clip into safe levels. These claims have not been confirmed and may be attempts to get others to follow Green. The followers of Green are rare and Green herself hardly appears so the Meg cannot conduct further investigations. Wanderers are discouraged from be from choosing be to be indoctrinated by Green. <sighs> Tom is a young pair like Indy with an orange body bright red face, and green wings. All the wanderers who have seen Tom will love him spontaneously and claim they have never seen such a lovely creature. When a wanderer approaches Tom, he will put his cheek on the wanderer's face and make chirp sounds, just like most baby birds, making the wanderer feel great satisfaction. If the wanderer feels and accepts this kind of satisfaction, they will be indoctrinated by Tom. Here's a picture of Tom. The indoctrinated will regard Tom as their child and will take care of and protect him at all costs. Unlike the followers of William, this will not lead to the decline of the followers' cognitive ability to danger, but Tom has a ravenous appetite and is always hungry. So his followers will be on the will be endlessly on the run in order to feed him. Followers will, will therefore be indifferent to any friends or family, will even sometimes rob others for food and on water. Most followers of Tom fall into the wretched cycle due to hunger, water shortages, and long-term isolation. It is reported that Tom is not unique, at least, and at most three instances of Tom have been observed at the same time. Interestingly, although most parrots maintain hostile relationships with other parrots and their followers, Tom seems to particularly hate Jerry. If followers of Jerry approach Tom, he will show extreme aggression and persistently peck their heads, which will eventually cause the followers to flee or die from his attack. And the bodies of the wanderers will eventually be e eaten by death. I mean, Beth, sorry. Richard. Richard is an owl that has brown wings, a brown head, and a white face and belly. He is only found in the sea of sunflowers on the hilltop. Richard will not indoctrinate wanderers, instead he can eliminate their beliefs, including beliefs in Jerry, and give them the ability to avoid indoctrination as long as they provide on water or sunflower seeds for him. After wanderers accept his help, Richard and the sea of sunflowers will disappear, leaving an exit door in their wake. The Meg has made repeated attempts to bring the followers of Jerry and other parrots to Richard in, a, in an effort to eliminate their beliefs, but all attempts have failed. This is probably because of the uncertainty of encountering Richard and the strong resistance of the followers. But the main reason is that Richard seems to only be willing to help wanderers who seek purification of their own volition. That is very true. You can't uh, and expect to help of someone who doesn't want to be helped. That's just not how the world works, unfortunately. Faces, outposts, and communities. There are no bases, outposts, or communities in this level. Oh, the followers of parrots will usually be led to leave the level by going through the door at the hilltop after being indoctrinated. Entrances and exits. Entrances. By sleeping in a foggy level, one has a small chance to wake up in level 712. Find a distant hill in level 9 and walk towards it. If the night turns into the day and mist rises, one will, will enter level 12.
I mean, 712. I should probably stay off level 9 in general, though. This seems like a dangerous place. Walk towards a place with scarce trees and buildings, and level 186 has a chance to lead to level 712. Exit! Opening a door on the hilltop will lead to a random um, outdoor level. Praising Jerry in front of other parrots will give an audience with a Jerry, wherever they may be. No clipping in, into the ground in the mist will lead to the entrance of Jerry's room. Moving away from the woodier hillside will lead it to level 192. That was Backrooms level 712. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but until then, goodbye!